Hey guys, um, it's Lydia and today I'm going to be talking about, <clears throat> wait, what am I talking about? Um, this is more like um, a tip slash advice um, video for learner drivers, so learner drivers that basically before they go for their first ever lesson, whether it's going to be a driving instructor or someone they know, like a family or friend or whoever. Um, so this is like my tips and advice and also ask my boyfriend as well for like his advice for people that are learner drivers <clears throat> and um, yeah so um, it's actually in my bag just give me one second so I wrote it down in the book instead of typing it on my laptop because I already started um, writing down the tips but uh, I just I didn't really finish it so yeah so number one is don't use bad habits um, like from other drivers I give you an example of a bad habit of having your phone on your lap so tip number two is um, if other yeah so if other drivers are beeping even when you are following the road rules ignore them tip number three okay so number three is what did I say make sure you are sitting comfortably in the driver's seat oh my gosh my nose is so blocked oh. I feel like I'm getting the cold and flu, but it's just terrible. I started doing this, I think, from this morning, um, the cold and flu symptoms. Uh, but I think I might go check again for, like, pay the testing so I can miss out on not too un un bad. <laughs> anyway, so that's tip number three. So tip number four is if it's your first driving lesson ever, whether it's with a driving instructor or uh, if it's with like a family or friend taking you on drive and they actually trust you with their car <laughs> um, make sure to drive um, on a quiet street or even in my part no, I said quiet street and then my boyfriend he mentioned on a quiet day as well which is right as well because you want to say for example Sundays it's usually quiet um, you don't want to drive in a really busy period like say for example between 5 and 7 p.m. or I don't know around the evening when people finish work or I don't know people go pick up their kids you know after work uh, in the afternoon slash late afternoon you want to pick the good day as well as quiet streets like less traffic lights blah 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 like I mean no traffic lights and less, less traffic so that because like to be honest guys like when it's like your very first lesson, some people might be excited, some people might be like really nervous as heck, and that is perfectly normal, trust me, I was nervous too. Uh, tip number five is um, ask as many questions as you can about driving um, to your driving instructor if you're in driving school, um, or to whoever supervises you. Like, tip number six is read the, make sure to read the booklets that they give you, like whether you're in Australia or overseas. Make sure if they do from, I don't know, it depends, every country is different. Well, that's what I think. So, tip number six is make sure to read the booklets that they provide to you when you first get your uh, learner's um, license, like with your actual card. Um, yeah, just to receive more information from me. Um, I'm guilty. I didn't really read the like instructions fully um, until like <laughs> my driving instructor was like telling me some information about traffic lights, like this and that. I was like oh really and then he was showing me um like the page i'm like oh whoops i'm supposed to be reading that yeah so just make sure to read the booklets um just just read the booklets uh like as early as you can like not a it's not like a like you have to like stressing you out kind of thing but it's more of just like uh trying to give you some comfort and like some knowledge some background information that you would you know already know maybe you like when you go into a driving a lesson with a driving school or with you know whoever supervising your family or friend you'll know a bit about it and then they'll ask you and then they'll kind of like try to give you the comfort you know uh tip number seven definitely most importantly be patient with yourself when it comes to driving number eight uh what's this one here learn as much as you can when driving what i mean by this is uh say for example if uh, whoever's taking for a lesson or driving um, they might give you some new information that the book doesn't have like the the learning booklet or whatever learning information materials they like you have given you have been received I mean you received uh, learn as much as you can like get me out of conversation uh, scan the road like the roads that you go past and 
uh, what else is it? I think I didn't. Anyway, so scan the road like how it's made. Say for example, there's some, uh, there's there's roundabouts, there's um, uh, traffic light, there's there's just different like road rules. Uh, sometimes there's school zone. Um, there's pedestrian crossing. There's school zone. What else is there? Sometimes there's like a really big roundabout. Um, and they have like, uh, what do you call it? They have crossing there. It's like a yes, but they only have crossing if there's actually pedestrians like crossing the road. But other than that, um, it's like fine. Like yeah, like there's no you just keep going. It's a roundabout, no more roundabout. Uh, there's also like multi lanes, traffic lights. Um, yeah, just scan the road. Be familiar because the reason why I say scan the roads and be familiar with like where you drive is because like in case it comes up as a test, you don't even know which road that you're gonna be driving. Um, driving through. So yeah. The next tip is uh, listen as much as you can for feedback from whoever is taking you on a driving lesson. Um, yeah because that actually helps a lot like say for example if they like like they see how you drive or maybe they could be like thinking oh you know um maybe they could see um like how you feel when you're driving um and how you drive whatsoever then they'll advise you listen as much as you can to the feedback because even though like it's like um it's, it's called improvements basically because like how can you learn if you don't know like in areas to improve right so you listen as much as you can for feedback because feedbacks is a really good thing you can improve in your driving uh the next tip is um highly recommend to drive in a small car um or wait what did i say yeah in a small car and if you don't have one a driving school is like literally uh they have small cars uh my nose is so blocked oh my gosh okay uh Another tip is if you're scared or nervous about driving uh, for the first time, that is perfectly normal like I mentioned a while ago. Uh, the more you drive, the, the more you will gain confidence. Oh my gosh, my nose is blocked. Anyways, next tip is, uh, oh, this is actually one of the important ones. Learn where all the switches are in the car that you're driving. And like probably like in all like the cars that you driving for like the lesson uh learn all the controls like say for example the brakes if you're driving a manual car uh make sure to learn like the clutch or whatever you call it and you know the window wipers uh, indicators uh the power to turn on the engine um uh, the buttons to depends on the model of the car um it depends on how old the car is uh figure out how do they how to wind down the window uh how to i don't know the light to turn on the light if it's uh if it's an automatic light the light will turn on eventually at the headlights of the car if it's an old car like me like my car uh it's old so i have to switch it on uh what else is there and the radio if you're listening to radio aircon here so let all these switches like the lucky last tip is uh, write down uh things that you need to learn to improve like with your feedback or questions and you get the answers load it down for like future references in the test or whatsoever and that is all i have for this video i'm so sorry it's so long but yeah i've actually been wanting to put this up for like a while but anyways i've got to I'll finish this video because it's actually taking forever um but yeah anyways that's all i want to share with you guys and thanks guys so much for watching i apologize i do have a long nose i'm not really i'm not feeling 100 percent uh and that's about it so thanks guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next new video bye